Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow comparison and I figured I have a lot of rose gold eyeshadows and I'd like to kind of compare them, see if they're the same, see if they're not, see which one's better. And I have a few you know, different palettes that have a rose gold in it and I think this one's rose gold. And this one, right there. And I also have a eyeshadow stick. Actually, I have another one I forgot to grab. Hold on. So I found it. I found this is a NYX one. And this was just one I got off Shop Masse. They're all in rose gold, and I thought we'd swatch them and do an eyeshadow look with them. So that should be fun. Let's scoot up here. So first I'm going to swatch the two sticks. First will be the NYX one. I'm going to swatch it right here. It's a really nice one. I got this off of Amazon around Christmas time. Here's that. You can see it better in the sun. Okay, next we will do this. It's called the Clean Color Master Strokes Longwear Nude Eyeshadow Stick in Rose Gold. I was really happy to get that off the website because they're usually sold out of everything rose gold on there. And here it is. It's a bit darker, actually a lot darker than the NYX one. It's more of a gold. The other one's more of a rose. So those are those two. The next I'll do this one from Maybelline. This one you can see I've got quite a lot of use out of. So watch it here for you. Next to the dark one. And this one again is it's lighter. So far they're all they're all different colors. You know they're all rose gold. And next one from the NYC Individualized Palette. This one's not actually called rose gold. I actually don't know if they have, I'm trying to look see if their names for them on the back, but I got this one because this color reminded me of rose gold right here. So I'm going to swatch it and see if it compares to the others. It's actually really light. It's pretty much just a pink. And like I said, it wasn't called rose gold. I just bought it because it kind of reminded me of rose gold. Next is the CoverGirl True Naked Roses palette. This one is the rose gold. It is actually called rose gold on the back. I don't know if you can see it, but... Now we'll watch this one. Swatch it next to the light one. And there that one is. And they are all different shades, but they're all called rose gold. So I thought it'd be fun to do, you know, my whole eyeshadow look. I didn't put on primer yet. I have to do that. So, let me do that real quick. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was watching a guys make some video. But anyway, um, out of these I have to decide which one I want, like, on lid, crease, and outer V. Obviously the darkest one, which was this one I think will be the outer V color. Um, which one? I want this one. I can't remember which one. I think this is from the... The Maybelline palette will be on the lid, and I don't know which one's on the crease. The NYX stick. So, let's get down to business. I already made that joke, didn't I? Alright. So, well. Tap, tap. Does anyone else here share my obsession with rose gold? 
My friend Heather does. She's like the only person I actually know who also wears makeup. Nobody else I know really bothers with it, so it's kind of disappointing, but at least I have her. And YouTube, I suppose. YouTube likes rose gold. There's one. And I'm not good at using my right hand for my left side. But yeah, I'm planning on getting more rose gold shades because <laughs> I have an obsession. There was that one. Tree shade I was going to use. The NYX stick. For this I'm going to need my own little mirror. Just use my Lumi palette. Oh, not palette. It was foundation. It's all gone now. That's a pretty color. Well, they're all pretty colors. They're all rose gold. I really like that. That's nice. What do you think? The sticks are so easy to use, but because they're like creams, I don't think they stay on very well. They might. The next one especially. They might stay on better. I haven't tried them too often, so I'm not really sure. Looks very golden. Not a bad thing. And the last one is the clean color one for the outer V. Since it was the darkest. My problem is there's like no blending going on. It's interesting. It's really a very light, smoky eye. Let's take your finger and blend it. Go. All right. Why not? You know. Why not? Fingers just as good as a brush. Yeah, it's all over me. And then it just goes onto my shorts. <laughs> That's all I have right now. I always mess up on this side. I always put too much, it always goes too far out. I think I have a, my blind spot is on my left eye, so maybe that's why that happens. There we go. Looks good to me. I hope you like it. So I went ahead and put on my mascara and my eyeliner because my camera decided to run out of memory again because I forgot to delete the previous videos. And there's a fly in my room, it's really bothering me. But here's mascara and eyeliner on and I think it turned out pretty cool looking. It's like more of a natural color than I usually go for, so I usually use kind of darker browns and stuff, but and now you can't see it at all because of the glare of my glasses. That's okay. It still looks good. So, you know, rose gold. It's got a lot of options actually. You think you like one and it gives you the other. Just, you know, keep a look out. Keep that in mind that each different maker probably makes a different shade of rose gold. And what is going on here? I think I smeared my lipstick. Darn it. But, um, hold on. Yep, that's what happened. I look like a mess. Not well. Should expect that from me by now. Which just have to fall on the floor. I make such stupid jokes. <laughs> but anyway, lipstick mess and all. There you go. There's your video. I had fun making this and I hope you guys had fun watching it. And I will see you next time. Bye.